you? Welcome to day 27. How are you doing? I uh, don't know about you, but I, I really feel like getting moving today. Um, so hopefully that's good for you. And um, you know, if not, go find a, a more gentle day. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just gonna work out a little bit of the lockdown, lockdown frustration. So let's get on with it. Today we're gonna do some arms and of course general other stuff as well. So getting a playlist ready. A three, two, one, go. Nice. Bend the knees. And just looking down. And as you go down, just shrug the shoulders a little bit. And then look up, back to neutral, let them flatten off. Now as you're doing this, just pay attention again to the spread of weight beneath your feet. So if you're feeling like it's more pronounced on one side or the other, then broaden across the hips in the direction that you need to create an even spread. Now what I'm doing as I'm doing this, I just want you, want you to start to curve through the spine. So I'm relaxing the head down, sending the spine behind me, going into perhaps you could say a golem pose, just with the shoulders. Now as we go, I'm going to start to just take the arms forward a little bit. In fact, maybe the zombie apocalypse pose. Brains. So I'm sending the spine away as so I'm sending the hands forward. And then push down. Breathing in. And out. Keep going, sending it away. Getting a little bigger each time. So now I'm going to push really out with the, the butt and the sacral spine. Beautiful. Just changing arms. And let the fingertips drag behind. As you start to warm up, you can just increase that range, increase the range of movement ever so slightly. Keep going, actually. <laughs> Sorry, I'll give you a bit more time on that. Beautiful. Now we're going to go sideways. So bend and then up. Just dropping the head again. Bend with the knee. So I'm getting a little bit of a stretch through the calves as I go down. From here, pulling down with the traps, squeezing the shoulder blades. And push up, like you're trying to push something heavy, squeeze down. And up. And down. And up. Good, touch the sides of the room. start to roll and just taking one arm in a circle let it go through the body so you're getting a twist of the ankles and the hips as well and going forwards four five six seven eight going the other arm one two Three, get nice and slow so you can get a real stretch as you're going around. Six, seven, and eight, and forwards. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good, now pulling up from the bottom, squeezing the traps, and down. Pulling up, do make a fist. And then pushing down. Breathing in. Keep the shoulders down as you go. And up. Good. A little bit wider with the legs. And just really subtle pushes with the, the whole of the pectoral girdle. Just fit through here. So like you're trying to push your palm onto one hand or the other. Onto one wall. Keep the fingertips pointing up. And now 
stretching both out to the side, smile through that uncomfortable, disgusting pain you feel along your forearms. Breathe and check it out. Good, bending down, picking up and circle through the ankle. So all the weight's going to the ball of the grounded foot, lifting up at the head, sinking down through the butt. Change direction and relax the butt cheeks. Breathe into the small of the back, soften down through the front. Stay on that leg and we're going to circle around. See if you can breathe through the clunky bits, trying to make it a perfect circle. Go the other way. If you're tight around the butt cheeks, that might be why you get little kind of jerks through the circle. That's okay, that's why we're doing this. And change. Circle the ankle. Take the time now to relax all the bits you tensed with the new instructions and go the other way. Beautiful and change direction. Again, breathing through the clunky bits, trying to relax through the hips and the whole leg so you get a nice smooth circle. Going the other way. Beautiful, shake it out. And circle one way and back the other way. Lifting up through the head. Now, keep the head still so you're not going to rise and fall while you do this. Staying on this same leg, we're going to pull up and out, pulling the toes back towards you, pushing out with the heel. And change, circle and back. Now take all the extraneous tension out of the body that you don't need. It's just the body thinking it's helping. It's not. Either that or just freaking out about the instruction it's meant to be doing. Beautiful. Pulling up, pushing out. Good. Okay, foot down and just nice and easy. At the moment, you can let the hips turn as well. Not so far if you feel any stress over the knees. Ease off. And let the arms be nice and soft and passive in this movement. Now we're going to keep the hips still. And the head still. So I'm retaining through the shoulders. Hips still, head still. For those of you who remember Karate Kid, it's like that little drum thingy that they turn back and forth. All right, nice wide legs. And reaching, and then bend. Same again, but the arms go to the side, and back up, and side. And back up. Good. Rolling all the way down. Rolling the shoulders out. Bend the knees, rolling up through the spine. Stay down low and do some windmill elbows. Start to get a bit of pace through this like a motor. My neighbor's bringing out the bins. Keep going. And the other way. Feel like a little airplane. Now the trick to this is you make yourself nice and relaxed. That's how you get a fast, easy movement. People will tend to tense when they want to go faster, but actually you need to relax. And stay there. Circle through the shoulders. Little, little, tiny, tiny circles. Keep the legs going, by the way. Haven't stopped there. And go backwards with the arms. Nice and fast. And smile. Keep going. All right, 
check it out. Check it out right from the center. All right, hands behind. Squeeze them together and push behind and then back up. So I'm pushing into the palms so you get a bit of a work. Obviously don't overstrain yourself. Keep pushing the whole time. The harder you push, the harder it is, but don't pop anything. Could be quite tiring. Good, shake it out. Now bring the hands up. Head goes straight and drawing an infinity sign or a figure of eight on the on its side. Make sure your head's directly straight and the arm goes to the head and it's the whole thorax that's moving. It's not just the arm like this. I'm moving the whole thorax. Beautiful, go the other way. And changing over, arm goes to head, going down. Relax the other arm. Nice and smooth. Again, if you have any tension through the neck, make sure you're bringing the arm to the head, not the head to the arm. Change direction. Keep breathing. Okay, good. Coming up. Just roll that out. Should feel a little bit more open under the, under the shoulder blades now. Rolling down through the spine. Just relax here for a second. Let the head be heavy. And we're just going to start to tuck the side. Just go within your limits. So I'm just taking the opposite foot across and tapping. Now, as you start to warm up, you can start to make a little bit of a turn. And I'm actually reaching further past my foot. But just go within your own limit. So now I'm reaching quite far out the side, but keeping the legs straight but not locked. All right, now I'm gonna to start to take that a little bit behind. So I'm almost like trying to hit behind where my heels go. You can take it a bit closer into the foot if you want to get more distance behind. Now I'm going to try and tap behind my heel. Beautiful. And staying there at the centre and bend. And straighten. Bend. Straighten. Now bring the arms forward as you bend. And up. And bend. We're going to keep going with this, but this time as we straighten, up, my hands go to the side. Bend. Side. Bend. Side. Bend. Side. Good. Relaxing down. And just swinging from side to side. Okay, bending, rolling up. And take yourself to the end of the mat. Gonna do a few of the worm crawls. So rolling down this time, keeping the spine nice and released. Walking out. Hold. Walking back in. Rolling up. And down again, rolling down. Walking out. Hold it. Sucking the belly button into the spine, engaging the shoulder blade. Going up, rolling up. And down. And this one's come out to a plank. Just going to hold for a second, making sure the hands are under the shoulders. And from here, just look to one side and then the other. And knees down and sinking down to the traps and squeezing back up 
Squeeze the shoulder blades together, drop down. And up. Couple more. And up. Beautiful. Coming to neutral. Reaching out with the left hand and the right foot. And back in. Keep it stable as you transfer over. And in. Keep your gaze just in front of your mat here. Don't look down like this. Pulling the belly button into the spine, engaging through the shoulder blades. And now we're going to reach out and go diagonal and hold. Stretching from the fingertip to the toes. Beautiful work, come back in. And down. Other way. Tickle the plant if you have one. <laughs> Back in. Straight into lifting up the right leg, going up, side, and down. Up, side, and down. Now, if you want to really start to feel the work through the arms as you bring your leg to the side, if you have the range of movement, keep the knee high. So you feel like your thigh is actually parallel to the ground rather than dipping down. And the other leg. Again, keep the gaze just above your mat or just above your hands. toes underneath into a down dog and just walk through the feet and into a plank and back into a child's pose now scooping through into an upward dog don't have to straighten the arms if you're not ready for that yet Tuck the toes under, into a down dog. And now back into an upward dog. Just nice and slow, and then into a down dog. So don't have to actually let your legs touch the mat here when you go into the down dog. Don't want to have any pressure through the small of the back. We're just sort of flossing through the spine. So don't go for your full range of movement. And think about this being about the core that's moving, your hips that are moving. And just stay in that down dog for a second, relax the heels to the floor, lift the butt towards the ceiling. We'll let Beyonce finish her bit. Yes. And back into all fours. Just sit down for a second and just roll out the shoulders. Good. Back into a plank. And just touching our arm and down. And we're going nice and slow here. So we have to work the control. Try and keep the rest of your body as still as you can so you're not wobbling from side to side. Nice and controlled, smooth changeover. And we're going to keep the shoulders in and go down for push up. Don't touch the ground. Coming back up. Stay here. And we're going to reach forward and down. Other arm. If this is too intense, put the knees down. And one more thing. <laughs> Good, back into your child's pose, just relax the shoulders. Good, onto the side, and side push-ups. We're going for eight, that's three, four, five, six, seven. Stay on that side. I'm going to go 
into a side plank, either onto your elbows and knees or feet and hands. Just going to start by holding it. Stretching up through the fingertips. And now in either position, we're just going to curve in and up. Try and see how far you can feed that arm through without falling over. Five, six, seven, and eight. Go for a few more. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, two more, 15, you rocked it, amazing, just change size, check out your wrists in between, rolling through the wrists, so if you're getting wrist pain through this, then make sure you go the elbow version, not the knee version, alright, starting with the side push-ups, for eight, here we go, one, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Beautiful. Take yourself into the side plank, your choice. Elbows on knees. Just going to start by holding. Going to go for 16 again on this side. You know the drill. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Lifting up through the ribs. Six, seven, and eight. One more set. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Four more. Four. Three, two, and one. You rocked it. Just while we're shaking up the wrist, just sit in a bucket, why not? Multitasking is a good thing. Muppets. All right, since we're here, imagine you have a tray of drinks. You can put your legs down the floor if you want, otherwise offer it to lots of people. Don't spill the drinks. Offer it to tall people. You're just giving the arms a rest, you know? And to lots of people. You might need to move the legs a little bit or put them on the floor for this bit. Good. And do the monkey in this position, much or whatever it's called. And arms out. And in. All right, roll down. Go on. <laughs> Just like your knees to your chest. Okay, so we're going to do a push-up set. So we've got push-ups with the elbows in, with the arms out wide, with the thumbs forward. So remember, we're doing them in a count of eight. Do as many as you can in that count. So don't have to go with the beat or the time I'm doing. Just see how we go. If you want to go to your knees, do. Here we go. Elbows in. One. Two. Engage your shoulder blades in this. So don't use the front parts of the arms. Not through the biceps. And last one. Nice. Roll out the wrist. Just put the wrist on the floor and just stretch them forward a little bit. So what you can do is put them forwards and then just lightly lean back against them. Good. All right, so now arms wide. Remember, do good quality ones. Then just do a few good quality, then a lot of rubbish ones. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Nice work. Back into a 
push on as close as to the left. If you want, you can wiggle through the thorax. How great's this, hey? Yes! <laughs> oh, good. And next is going to be fingers forward. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice work. Last ones we're going to do only four. And if you want to go on your knees, I will. Diamonds. Just hold this. All right, it's so going to do four. One, two, three, four. Good. Stretch it out. Good. Onto your crouch and some more bounces. And just because our arm probably aren't tired enough, we're going to fall forward and back. Couple more. You know when I say couple, I mean like four. <laughs> Good. All right, light squat if you can. Don't have to bounce, that's just me. Pull the belly button into the spine in this position. Okay, legs wide, and we're going to pump up. Two, three. Keep it nice and light. And keep going. Reach a little bit further out with the fingertips now. If you can, if you can't reach the floor, don't keep the legs straight. Just go until you find a stretch. And turning on the spot. Rolling up using the shoulders. Shake it out. Well done. Shake it up high. Shake it to the side. Surely it must be getting easier now, right? Rolling out the wrist. Good. So what we're just gonna do now is just swing. So we want the arms to be super light here, so there's no muscle engagement in all of this. So we're going to do two and a circle. Lighten up the arms as you go over the head, completely relaxed, unless you're freaking out because I'm going in contra direction. Good, legs wide and up. Keep by yourself in your flat, do a clap, why not? Clapping's nice. Now we're gonna get a small twist, so we go here and knee. <laughs> Not knee, ankle. Beautiful twist. With the arms low, just dainty. And elbows high. But not really jumping too much, just little movements. And hands high. Whoops. And in between the leg. Ooh, nice and fast. Out of the arms. Good. All right. One, two. Just do the arm starts to start with. 
right and left now with the leg as well good and hips with the arms two in a circle right for the music sorry all right ready one, two, oh, I muttered up. <laughs> now, go. One, two, circle. One more time. Good. All right, pulling. Actually, kick your butt. Legs, uh, arms out. And in. Keep it light, don't pull anything. Good, all right, just loosely circle around and forwards. And the other way. And forwards. Legs wide and stretch. And make it a push. Diagonally up. And swap the arm going down. And bend the arms. And to finish, a bit of lazy chicken backstroke. And chicken freestyle. Nice one. All right, just wanna, that's, always gives you suggestions when you finish about the songs that things I should have put in. Uh, good, just gonna stop that. Quickly just gonna stretch out the arms. So reaching up, keep the arms straight, uh, the head straight. And just pulling down to tricep stretch. And if you're feeling comfortable there, do a little circle around. Good work. Well done, you. Go the other way. You know I always say this, but gosh, 30 minutes goes quickly. Where does the time go? <laughs> okay. And the other arm. Keep the knees nice and soft. And change direction. Good, and arm across the body, stretching through the triceps, knees soft. Remember, don't pull the shoulder over, keep the shoulders square. Just finding that place where you find the stretch. And turn the arms. Oh yeah, that's the spot. Very nice indeed. And just to stretch out those forearms, just Milk it back a little bit. And the other way. And of course, you know, feel, feel free to carry on stretching after this. And twisty one, so hand twists. Grab the thumb, push it down. Pressing up those forearms. And down, other hand. And then just to finish, I'm just going to roll down through the spine and detain. Just gently bend and straighten your knees. So put your hands behind, just bend and straighten them until you find a stretch. But keep your feeling that your chest is rising the whole time. And then just find where you've got a stretch and just hold that. You can let the head go now. And just prop yourself onto one leg, so the weight's on the ball of the foot, knees over the toe. And just pull up, or if your heel's fine, pull up. Reach your other arm out or diagonal. Good, soften that and just transfer across.
Then in a good bend the knees, rolling up through the spine. Amazing. Thank you very, very much for joining me again. Yeah, hopefully it's getting a bit easier by now. Um, you've done the done 27 workouts, so um, something bright hopefully should be happening. Uh, so take care of yourselves. You might need to massage out the forearms a little bit. So if you're feeling sore for the wrist, you can get your thumb. Obviously, you always consult a physician. I'm not a physician for humans. Um, but you can find, if you find tension through uh, the wrist, it might be coming from these guys here. So you can give yourself a massage with the forearm if you've got a spiky ball. It could be quite nice. Heat packs are always good, particularly in Melbourne at the moment because it's getting cold this week. Still funny now. Anyway, right. Sorry, I'm <laughs> just rabbiting on. I should finish. Thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow. We're going to do legs tomorrow, I think. Why not indeed? Thank you so much for your time. Bye.